Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, after a drencher and soaker of a day, it's finally quieting down here tonight. All the showers have finally exited out of the viewing area. Things now beginning to dry up in parts of Highland and Adams County, and it should remain dry through the remainder of the night. So as we bring it back downtown here, skies right now are clearing across the area, and that may pose its own set of problems late tonight and first thing in the morning. But we've got bigger concerns really for Friday. Aside from fog, the entire area is under the risk for severe weather tomorrow afternoon and evening. I actually think it's a pretty good likelihood we'll have some severe thunderstorm watches and warnings across the area, and it's not just the tri state. It's virtually all of the Ohio Valley from Pittsburgh back down towards Evansville. So a good chunk of the area as an unseasonably strong July cold front rams into our heat and humidity tomorrow afternoon and evening. The greatest risk posed for many storms tomorrow afternoon and evening will be for damaging winds and large hail at this point. These seem to be the two greatest concerns for storms moving in. So here we are. Let's take you to the weather map here. Storm system today rode basically along that stationary front with all the tropical moisture that was in place. We had soaking rains. I want to focus and shift our attention to this cold front tonight, and you can see the big storms that are developing up here across parts of Wisconsin. This is ahead of the cold front front that will charge south tomorrow afternoon and evening. So while you may not like the weather that comes with it tomorrow afternoon and evening, you will certainly enjoy the very comfortable weekend that's in store behind the front. A matter of fact, we are going to get a significant break from both the heat and the humidity. And when you consider the fact now we're beginning to edge our way towards the middle of July. Now it is going to be very, very comfortable outside this weekend. So get ready to enjoy. Tonight, though, not so much. It is very muggy, very tropical like, but because of the rains earlier today, temperatures have fallen back into the upper 60s for most of us. It's 70 Connersville, 69 Hamilton, Blanchester, 69 down in Walton. Within the 275 loop, most of us are in the upper 60s or knocking right on the door of 70 degrees. Temperatures will not fall much overnight tonight because of the high levels of humidity. Matter of fact, look at this. It's 68 right now at the airport. Dew point is 68. That's 100% relative humidity. I don't think dense fog is a widespread problem overnight tonight, but I would not at all be surprised, especially in some of the river valleys and low lying areas. So we'll probably drop about another two or three degrees. In most cases, we'll end up in the mid 60s for overnight lows and then highs tomorrow going to soar close to 90 ahead of that cold front. Tell you what, it is going to be an uncomfortably humid day tomorrow as it is really going to be sticky and with that heat on the high side, very uncomfortable. That's what will help fuel the severe weather. Here's a look at future cast overnight tonight. My only concern may be some patchy areas of dense fog or either some low clouds. Either way, that burns off pretty quickly in the morning. We're left with hot sunshine right now. It looks to be anywhere from after four or five. Notice these thunderstorms dropping in from Interstate 70. They'll drop down towards the Ohio River as they run into that really hot air. And notice by nine o'clock storms have virtually cleared the area. That in itself gives me a little concern for strong winds, how quickly they'll blast across the area. And then by midnight, we're virtually completely rain free and we're looking forward to a much nicer weekend. Although I might have to throw in a few showers on Saturday, but either way, it will be a lot drier and a lot more pleasant. So 67 for a low tonight underneath partly cloudy skies. Some areas of fall late tomorrow. Hot sunshine will give way to strong to severe storms in the afternoon. Look for that high up there around 90 degrees. Here's your day planner. 71 to start in the morning. Steamy sunshine. Basically late morning takes us through the better part of the afternoon. Well, I think the commute probably will get through at least part of it before the severe weather rolls in here. Here's your seven day forecast. Much nicer looking weekend Saturday and Sunday. As I mentioned, I might have to throw a sprinkle or a stray shower in there. Something similar to the past couple of weekends, but by and large, very, very comfortable weather before typical July weather returns towards early next week. All right, Kevin, thank you. Children.